If you have problems staying focused or you just wanna up your productivity level, I'm gonna help you do just that. Hey, what's up guys, it's Tech Confusion, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at my top five favorite productivity apps of 2018. You may have heard of some of these, but some may be new to you. Let's get started. Just a disclosure, none of these apps are sponsoring this video. I put together this list of apps based on what I use every single day. And speaking of lists, for our first app, we have Wonderlist. Simply put, it's a to-do list app that packs some very handy features that sets it above the rest. It's free and available on pretty much any device. Inside, you'll find different lists that consist of various categories that you may need to create to-dos for. You can create new lists and share them with your contacts. If you have a bunch of lists, you can organize them by placing them in a folder. Once you've created your new list, you can add to-dos. I'm gonna add one for washing my dog. If you tap on the to-do, it will open up the settings for it. Here you can set a due date and a reminder time. You can even set up repeat tasks, so let's say you do something every month, like pay rent. You can have Wonderlist remind you. If there's multiple actions needed to complete a task, you can set up a subtask. You're also able to attach a file or leave a note on that to-do as well. One of the coolest things about this app is its collaboration functionality. If you're a part of a team or you live in a family that just likes to stay organized, I definitely try using Wonderlist. Everything in Wonderlist is synced to the cloud, so you're not just tied down to one device. You can even log into the browser version wherever you are. The settings are in-depth while keeping it simple, and you can do anything from link your Wonderlist to-dos to your favorite calendar to customizing the background of the app. All in all, it's a very well thought out app with a very clean design and a simple interface that makes it easy to stay organized. Next up we have Evernote, and boy do I ever use this app a lot. It's such a simple app, yet it does its job so well. It's free to download, but there's a premium upgrade if you want features like offline access and a larger upload limit. It costs $8 a month, but I haven't upgraded, and depending on what you use it for, you most likely wouldn't need to either. So Evernote is a note-taking app that has all the typical features you'd expect, but it's so easy to use and it has the handy cloud sync function so you can access your notes from anywhere. On the main page, you can create new notes and add them to notebooks and notebook stacks to completely organize everything. The note editor comes with very helpful formatting tools so you can get your note looking perfect. You have the option to embed photos, audio, sketches, and other files like documents as well. You can share your notes with other Evernote users to edit or just send a link to view. Within a note, you can set up a reminder as well. Evernote is just a fantastic app. And while I know there's great alternatives out there, I feel like it's just best supported by third-party companies and thus has the widest potential. If there's a feature you wish Evernote had, most likely there's an app that integrates nicely with it. Okay, so for number three, we have one password. And if I had to pick one app to use out of this entire list, this would be it. It's free to download, but offers a one-time fee of $9.99 for more features. But if you wanna use one password across all your devices, you'll need the monthly subscription of $3. You probably guessed by the name, 1Password is an app that stores all of your passwords in one place that you can access via your master password or other types of encryption like Face ID. If you're even somewhat computer savvy, you most likely have a ton of online accounts that you have to remember the email and password for, and that can just be a hassle. That's exactly why I've been using 1Password for about five years now. In the app, you can save passwords, software licenses, Wi-Fi logins, credit cards, and driver licenses. You can share logins with friends, and the autofill feature on browsers is very nice. When you're logging onto an account that you have saved in 1Password, it will automatically show up on mobile, and on the computer, you can set up a keyboard shortcut for autofill. 1Password takes security very seriously, and it allows you to change a ton of settings. You can tell it when to lock your vault, and there's even a feature that goes to every site that you have saved and looks to see if it has been hacked or compromised. If it detects an issue, it will recommend changing your password. You can create multiple vaults to store various passwords and sync them through services like Dropbox or iCloud. Overall, I think 1Password is a must if you do anything online. It will save you the headache of having to send forgot my password emails every time you log in. All right, so the next app on the list is geared more towards helping you stay focused rather than organized. And this app is Forest. It's $2 on the App Store and free on Google Play. Basically, if you find yourself wasting a ton of time on your phone, it provides a fun way to prevent that. The way it works is you set a timer through the app for how much time you don't wanna be on your phone. And during that time, a tree will be planted in your imaginary forest. The longer the time, the more the tree will grow. At the end of the week, you can go into your forest and view your progress. It displays a graphical chart of how productive you've been. I haven't been using this app for long, yet it's already saved me so much time that I usually be spending on non-productive things. You can collaborate with friends to challenge yourself to work harder, and with each plant that grows, you earn elixir to buy new types of trees from the store. This app is really simple, but it's a really cool idea. 
Okay, for the last app, it's on iOS only, and it's called Shortcuts. It's actually an app developed by Apple to help you do multiple things at once. You can put a variety of actions that you do every day under one shortcut and ask Siri to run that action. So you can tell it to send a text message, start a playlist on Apple Music, and check the traffic on your commute home all in one shortcut. You can really go in depth with making these shortcuts, or you can download pre-built shortcuts. It's a really awesome app, and if you want to know more about it, I actually made an entire video about it that you can find right here. I'll also link it down in the description below. Anyways guys, that's my top 5 favorite apps for productivity. Let's talk down below about what your favorite apps are. As always, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please remember to leave a like, and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss my next video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and until next time guys, peace out.